एक किलोमीटर स्टिल टू गो टिल खजिया इट्स अ नाइस एंड सनी डे टुडे फॉर्चुनेटली Guys, you know there's one thing I wanted to tell you. You've seen this car in all my videos, and uh, personally, this car is one of my favorites. Uh, it's uh, the Ford EcoSport, and uh, unfortunately, Ford has stopped manufacturing this beautiful mini SUV uh, vehicle in India. I don't know why, uh, but this is a beautiful vehicle, guys, and. Uh, I have taken this on a long-term lease from uh, a company called Jack Cats. Uh, for my global audience, uh, if you like to, you know, if you're coming to India and if you like to, you know, uh, explore India uh, driving yourself, uh, you can contact uh, Jack Cats, and I'll leave all the details in the description box. For me, this is my favorite uh, model. That's why I always drive this. Uh, but they have. Uh, Uh, other models as well, uh, from sedans to hatchbacks to uh, SUVs, proper SUVs, and uh, also SUVs uh, like this. So, uh, for more details, you can contact them. The best part about them is their pricing is very good, and uh, also um, the cars that they give you are absolutely brand new. It's uh, almost like new. Like when I took this car, it uh, had only done about uh, 15 or uh, 1,000 uh, kilometers on the road. So. That's how new it, uh, it is. So do check it out, guys. I'll leave all the description, uh, all the uh, details in the description box. All right, let's continue with the journey.
guys, I am at a place called uh, Jitingiri. Uh, don't worry, my global audience. I've uh, written down the name here. You can see it here, uh, and you can. You know, it's pronounced as Jitingiri. Even I had difficulties in pronouncing the name. And uh, from here, guys, we're going to go uh, to two places. Uh, one is uh, Dina Park, and uh, the other is uh, Pula uh, you know, Trek. Actually, we're not going to be trekking because we're short on time. Uh, both are basically uh, virgin spots, uh, and uh, both have you know beautiful uh, panoramic views. So that's the purpose. So this is the center of the town, and uh, what you see behind me is which goes the road which leads to Barot. So I've come from Barot. Uh, obviously, I'm staying in Barot, and from Barot, uh, you just have to take this cut, and uh, this is this small place is known as. Jitingri and Fullari is on that side and uh, yeah and then Dina Park is on this side so uh, Dina Park will be going uh, we'll be driving down ourselves uh, but uh, Fullara or Fullari uh, will be hiring a cab because the road condition is not that great and honestly speaking there's no worth uh, taking the risk so uh, let's go there and uh, let's let's go to Dina Park first and uh, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it guys. current uh, caretaker uh, of this property but uh, the caretakers uh, keep changing from time to time every 10 days or every 15 days so uh, this is again an unknown place not many people know about it as you can see it's absolutely quiet and this is a much government uh, rest house as you can see uh, from the outside it's not in a very good condition I mean it's I mean the scenic beauty is excellent but you know for living conditions it's pretty good I mean inside the room uh, it's it's not bad enough I mean you can Spend one night here. So, uh, Narendra Singh ji, is ki booking aap kya kare the? Kahan se karani padegi? Just put the division. Put the division. Uh, I'll, I'll leave all the details of how you can uh, book this. Uh, you know, uh, stay. The range is the range is damn cheap. It's about uh, 500 to 650. Na, sare chhe sudak maximum. Sare chhe 700 ka tar maximum is 700 bucks, which is like uh, just about a, uh, 10 bucks or even less than that actually nine dollars uh, so after this uh, uh, obviously like I said I just wanted to show you this property and I also wanted to you know uh, let him speak and uh, as far as food is concerned
तो वो लेते हैं आप ले क्या है साथ में got it got it और उसके extra charge आप जो बनाने का है ठीक है ठीक है so that's it guys so it's not a brand proposition and it's a different kind of an experience like some stuff here and uh, they make it good. so i think that's a pretty good uh, proposition for us so do check it out if you get time and uh, narendra ji aapka bahut bahut dhanyawad aapne bahut jankari di hai mere mere khayal se log aayenge aana zarur pasand karenge our view is awesome guys uh, I, uh, like i always keep saying you can't do justice uh, with the camera but I, as i can see this place is worth coming i can see the snow peaks the other uh, range from here and from here i'm going to uh, another place called dina park Uh, which is about uh, approximately five kilometers away from here. So, huh? Fuladar. Ah, Fuladar, Fuladar also. That is, uh, that is also there. Uh, so today, today's video is about uh, these two places, guys, and uh, inclusive of this as well. So I hope you're enjoying it. And then, uh, Sinji, your very best wishes. Thank you. So, so this is uh, Dina Park. I really don't uh, know why it's called Dina Park. Uh, I guess it's just the name. So what you see behind me is actually Dina Park, that hill over there, and uh, just behind me, uh, again another uh, HP government uh, you know, rest house. Uh, this place, there's not much to see here, to be honest with you. I've, uh, like I said, I've come here for the first time. It's an unknown place. Not many people come here. Uh, but yes, you can come here for uh, you know uh, a retreat, like you can stay in the. a guest house uh, and the booking for this also uh, because it's hp government so the booking needs to be done from uh, monday so how to do that booking and all i'll try to leave the details for you guys and um, but uh, if you do come here there's one place that you can see which is the nargu wildlife sanctuary and uh, you have to trek uh, you can take the car to a certain extent and after that you have to trek so that's the wildlife uh, nargu wildlife uh, sanctuary guys So that's about it uh, for here, and uh, let's go to Fuladhar um, now. Uh, okay, guys. So this is Fuladhar, uh, and uh, the views are just awesome. And as you can make it out, you know. So it's basically for the views. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take a you know a sunset shot here. Uh, and uh, let's see if that's possible so yeah this is the path and um, there's a, a cafe here which is known as 360 degree cafe so i'm uh, you know proceeding towards that and uh, i'll show you what i find there okay and in the meantime you guys can let me know um if you're enjoying this I mean uh, this walk and of course the beautiful you know views the breathtaking views I would rather say Fuladhar finally reached and uh, as you can see behind me that's uh, not cafe 360 it's camp 360 uh Mr Roshan Lal who's the owner of this place uh he and his wife both uh, together run this uh, camp or they've named it camp it's a cafe actually they have uh, one small room i'll show i'll try to show you the cafe from inside as well but before that i mean i want to uh, he just uh, i just want to tell you that you know man this is awesome it, it, it is beautiful it's absolutely worth visiting so this is going to be uh, on the top of uh, i mean this should be on the top of your list if you're coming to you know borod valley in and around borod valley it's not too far you can come here and i'm telling you you won't not regret it you will not regret it just keep in mind one thing um, that you know not too many places to stay here so uh, that's one thing uh, i'm just going to talk uh, to uh, mr roshan lal and i try to find out you know about the uh, you know accommodation and stay you know if, if you know if you come more than you know if you're coming in a group so uh, you know if camping can be arranged i'm sure there should be some options 
so i'll let you know all these things uh, in the details and uh, we'll just go and uh, talk to um, mr roshan lal nephew he just came actually he was he's he had gone out he just came back all right guys so uh, i'm with mr roshan lal uh, as i was telling you and uh, mr roshan this is a beautiful place uh, you've got place to stay here um, and you can uh, he has all the options so why not let him uh, show you his own uh, property and explain it to you right तो रोशन जी आप बताइए जरा हमारे ऑडियंस के लिए वो आते हैं यहाँ पे तो रह सकते हैं क्या क्या फैसिलिटीज है क्या क्या नहीं है ऐसा है ना हमारे यहाँ एक अंदर कॉमन किचन हॉल है और एक रूम बड़ा है दो ये ऐसे ही रूम है इसमें दो लोग कपल आराम से सुन और ऐसा ही रूम इस तरह अच्छा ठीक है तो आप चाहो तो अंदर भी देख सकते हैं ना वेलकम तो ये हमारा किचन है ये बैठने की जगह और ये हम टीवी भी है तो आप तो यूज कर सकते हैं और क्या होता है सर्दी में बहुत ठंड होता है यहाँ रात को जब बर्फ गिरता है तो माइनस के जाता होगा रात को नाइट में तो यहाँ भी सो सकते हैं वैसे ये क्या बात होगा इसका खोल के लिए प्रॉपर डबल बेड बन जाएग हमारे पास तो सोलर लाइट है तो मैं चाहता हूँ कि रोड ना आए तो इतना ही अच्छा क्योंकि मैं ये नहीं चाहता कि जो भीड़ में हो रहा है पालमपुर में हो रहा है वैसे ही आऊँ मैं तो चाहता हूँ कि लोगों से डिफरेंट हो मैं यहाँ खाना रेस्टोरेंट वालों में डिफरेंट हूँ और मैं जो लोग के लिए है जो पहाड़ में रेंस है उसी को मैं प्रमोट करूँ तो वैसे वैसा नहीं कि रेस्टोरेंट स्टाइल मिलेगा आपको मैं जो सिंपल ही जो नेचर से जुड़ी सुविधा वही है रियल ऑफ पीट पेस and before this place becomes popular which it will over time i'm sure about that i can uh, guarantee you that and uh, you really want to experience something out of this world do uh, come to this place and uh, experience it now and uh, you really enjoy it i mean look at this uh, it's a place for two you can sleep here uh, wake up in the morning and uh, just enjoy the view i mean enjoy uh, the view i mean what else can someone ask for I mean, I'm just fascinated. I'm, I'm so, uh, I'm regretting it so much that you know I couldn't get a chance to stay here. Uh, but uh, I've made up my mind, uh, not for making a video, but uh, for my own experience, I'm definitely coming back here uh, pretty soon. I mean, I just that looking at this, you know, I don't feel like going uh, back. I mean, it's looking so great, awesome. What do you say, guys? I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me. Your eyes, they glowed and filled me up.
jumped off the subway leading nowhere Your warm hands rubbed off the cold around me I heard you say that everything is alright But how did you know how I felt? You saw right through me that day